So Ubenwa is a diagnostic um, tool for birth asphyxia. Um, just a bit on birth asphyxia, it's a condition that affects um, the brain of babies and can cause disability and death. And um, birth asphyxia is majorly low oxygen to the brain. Um, the, um, but sorry, <laughs> can we take that again? <laughs> <laughs> Can we take that? So Benoit is a diagnostic um, tool for um, birth asphyxia. Um, birth asphyxia affects the brain of babies and can cause disability and death. Um, globally, it causes about 1.2 million um, deaths annually. And then it's been costed to estimate about $61 billion per year due to the death and disability um, from birth asphyxia. So the um, science behind them Benoit is it's in research that um, there are alterations in the frequency of the cry of a child who has birth asphyxia and what we're able to do was to through um, artificial intelligence develop um, an application that can, ap can be applied through in mobile phones to record the cry of babies and tell if they've got birth asphyxia and this is very good because um, it's just done in 10 seconds it's minimally invasive and it's low cost and definitely can be deployed in um, low resource settings. At the moment, we've done our laboratory testing, which has given us um, over 95% accuracy. Um, what we look forward to in, in the nearest future is to do a clinical testing where we can have larger samples. Um, and this will be very good to understand better the cry of a child. There have been different questions that have been asked, even in this conference, to know what's the difference um, in the cry frequency of a child from um, Asia, how is it different from that from a child in Africa or America. I mean, these are important questions to really ask. And um, if we are able to um, win the AI prize or raise funds for the next phase of this research, um, we'll generate data which will help um, even artificial intelligence globally in terms of um, frequency, voice frequency in children, and to diagnose other breathing-related conditions in children. It's a very good work to invest in because um, at the moment we are talking about um, sustainable development goals and we are looking at in 2030 to um, reduce um, neonatal and um, child, child mortality and um, birth asphyxia actually is one of the top three causes of uh, um, neonatal and children mortality and so if we want to um, achieve um, reduction of this um, um, deadly condition. I mean, we need to invest into um, um, projects like this, which can detect the condition early and alert the um, healthcare workers and make sure they provide oxygen for these children, provide glucose for these children, and take them to experts where we can prevent complications and death arising from this condition.